Three, two, one, go. All right, guys, welcome to another tutorial. Let's make this little guy super cute. Christmas time. Let's do it. So first things first, new project. You probably have the grid on. Let's go to the front. Okay. And we have the red line here. So sometimes if you're, if you're zoomed out at a certain spot, you might not see it. it might disappear, but just hit front and it should show up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's make a quick ground. So we'll just go ahead and add a cylinder. Uh, I, you know, I always add a cylinder first. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, I haven't done any Christmas shopping or anything yet. <laughs> and it's today it is the, I think it's the 15th or the 16th, 15th. So it's Friday and this is what I do on a Friday night. Okay, so we pretty much have the ground and then we're just gonna tap on these three little dots here and put it to two. Oh, and also let's change it from Metcap or let PBR to Metcap. Make sure that we're on orthographic. Okay, we are. And let's save this. We'll save as Gingerbread Fella. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, so let's bring in our little gingerbread guy. So we'll tap this little picture icon, reference image, and we will import photos and you can grab this photo from my website just go to my website and scroll to the bottom and this photo will be there so let's adjust the photo so we'll tap here we'll tap transform and we'll move it to about right there okay and then we tap the screen to go back to regular sculpting all right actually I'm gonna make it a little no I'll leave it I'll leave it like it is now I'll make it a little smaller Okay. I've never tried putting it like up here. Anyway, um, so let's see how we're going to make him. So the head looks, let's move this sphere up and we'll probably give him, it's not really a big body. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's get rid of this grid. Okay. So let's shape the head. It should be pretty simple. I think that might be it. So we can stretch it a bit. I think that looks perfect. Oh, and always I have uh, symmetry and I have show line, so you can always see the symmetry line. Uh, the only thing that I'm thinking is his head it might be a little more flat on top. So if we want to stretch it out this way, uh, as long as we're on the head and you see the red line going down the front of it just go to symmetry vertex and go to vertex here and now we can use uh, actually we, we want a different uh, symmetry we don't want that one because it would stretch it long ways so we want it to be let's see oops why is it on six we want to use I think Y but let's hit local that way Instead of just using the, the world symmetry, it's going to use local symmetry to the shape. So that's why it wasn't showing before, because it was showing the symmetry for the whole... Uh, I can't even see it. If I do show plane, maybe it shows up. Yeah, so if, I, if you're on world, it'll show it for like a whole scene. So that's when you want to switch to local. And then you can see it. Let me get rid of the plane. I usually don't have that. Okay, but I think we need Z and just Z so we can turn those off. And now you have the line going across this way, which means that as long as you have those two options, then you can kind of spread it out a little bit and see how it's a little more flat on the top. I think that might be a little bit more accurate. Probably unnecessary, but you know how I am with my details. Um, and you know how I am in my saving everything. <laughs> okay, so this can be the head. So we'll just rename it head. Oh, let's rename the floor. FLR. K. 
Okay, and we can validate this floor. Okay, so the body looks like... Um, it honestly just looks like two spheres that are like sort of bent. So that should be pretty easy. So let's add another sphere. And we'll use Gizmo to move it up. We'll shrink it. Maybe we'll stretch it this way. So we'll stretch it this way. Uh, we'll mirror it. And actually, yeah, let's use the gizmo. So we mirrored it. So now we can kind of spread it apart like this. We'll bring it down some. And I think that's pretty good for now because it's now it's going to be in a mirror. So let's just make this body. Let's just rename the mirror body and the spheres body. Even though it's one sphere, but it's really spheres. Let me make sure you can see this okay. I always forget to recalibrate my camera when, if I start on the white sphere, it changes the way the, the camera looks, so I have to adjust it. All right, so first, let's make everything sort of flat like, like this is. So I'm just going to flatten it a little bit like this for his little legs. And now that we've validated, we can use like move. And we need to make this general like kind of body shape. So let's just take the top. Let's actually spread the legs out a little bit more. Let's squeeze them a little bit, just so the bottom part looks like that, I think. So maybe something like, something like that. We might have to raise the head up a little bit, but I think something like that. And then we'll just take the top. Now we still only have the regular X symmetry, uh, even though I don't even know if we need symmetry. Do we need symmetry? The only symmetry I might want to use is if I move the front, I might want the back to follow as well. So in order to do that, I'm going to turn symmetry on. And then I'm going to go to local. Okay, so this is left and right. We don't want that. I think we just want front and back. So I think that's Z. Yeah, so that's Z. So now we have the line here, front and back. That way when we move things, it's not uneven like the front will be going up and the back stays still. So we don't want that. So let's just make this sort of round body shape. So really just pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. But really, I think something like that is kind of good. And what's nice is, you know, we'll put this, this shirt on him or her. So we don't really have to worry too much about this uh, inside part of the, of the body. But I think that's pretty good. Might make the head a little bit bigger. Um, we do need a little more space between the legs. Let's actually make, let's see, what shape can this be? I think it looks like a square or a box. It looks like a box. So let's add a box. Okay, we'll validate it. We'll move it up a little bit. And we'll shrink it a little bit. Make it a little bit bigger. So the box right now, let's see if we use round edge. Um, if you don't have round edge, just make sure you check out my Nomad Sculpt Cheat Sheet. Uh, the link's in the description. Uh, it's a really simple tool, very useful. So if you're using round edge, let's just see if we can smooth it out like this. And this actually looks pretty good. We want the edges very round, so we might have to voxel remesh lower. The lower you voxel remesh, uh, the softer the clay will become. The higher you voxel remesh, the more hard and dense and the more details you can have. The lower is the opposite, less detail, rounder edges, things like that. So let's just uh, voxel remesh it a bit lower. I'm just using a shortcut here. It's the same as uh, this, it's the same as this voxel remesh. So now that we remeshed it lower, we might be able to get those edges a little more soft. But I think that's good. 
to make sure the cat wasn't in here. She's not allowed in here after eight o'clock. So I'll just squeeze this for the little shirt. I think that looks all right. And we might be able to do the same thing that we did for the body for this. So I think we want, we do want this line because we want the left and the right, but we also want the front, oh, let's see. Yeah, we also want the front and the back. So let's also add the uh, Z and local. So now we tap Z and local. I think both of these are local. So we just want X and Z symmetry. And then you see the line here and the line here. And that just saves us from having to do the front and the back because we can do them at the same time. So we just kind of want to follow the, the shape of the legs. So kind of like this, but we want it to be nice and round. So it might take a little bit of make the move tool a little bit bigger. And actually I'm going to squeeze it a little bit more. We can always unsqueeze it later. I'm gonna take flatten and I think I'm just gonna flatten up to get a nice curve. Get a nice upward curve. And the top, I'm just going to use move, Oop, maybe smaller. Just try to make it as round as I can. Now I am going to use smooth and kind of smooth this out. So that's going to help us. That's going to help you, you know, because it's so soft, it'll get round. Okay, I think that's good. I think that looks, uh, that looks cute. The only thing is, let's see. It looks decent, but I feel like this should go up more. And this should go, it's a little more straight. Yeah, that looks okay. So let me stretch it out more just so it's a little bit wider now. And the reason why I squished it is because it's easier to use the move tool if both of the sides are closer together, because if they're really far, very far apart and you try to move the edge, it'll move the edge, but it might not move the middle that much. So sometimes when I'm doing something like this, I might squeeze it close, make my smooth movements, smooth it out with the smooth tool and then stretch it out afterwards. But it depends on, depends on the situation as I guess everything does. Okay, so let me shrink this a little bit. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I think that looks cute. So I also want to now move the top in this way. And maybe even kind of puff it out a little bit. Yeah, so something like that. And again, I'm just going to smooth it. That kind of makes it nice and uniform. Makes it look good. Okay, so I like that. I think I want the legs a little bit longer so I can just bring those down a bit. And then I might want to have a little bit more space in between. But I think that's good. Whoops, let's go to the front. Okay, so now the arms also look like spheres. So this is the body, this is the body. The box is the shirt. Let's do a quick save. So let's add some more spheres for the, the little arms. Actually, we probably could use the legs. Now that I'm thinking about it. We might be able to just clone and name this arms. And then take this arm with gizmo and just, uh, let's hit align 
Let's move them away from each other. Um, it might work. Probably work. Let's shrink it. And they're kind of they're kind of the wrong way. It looks like the arm. I kind of want them a little bit more straight. But we could probably just use. Oh, there was, there's the, I was wondering where the tools were. If we use move, we might be able to just kind of push them a little bit and they'll be straight again. But I think I want them a bit rounder. I think. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna delete and add a new sphere. Okay, so I'll bring the spheres over. Shrink them, stretch them out, shrink them again, and then turn them. Seems like something like this. Maybe I'll make them a little bigger, maybe. Okay. I'm going to take it off of a line so I can just stretch it more this way. So I just want to get the, I just want to get the overall shape right. So it looks like it's a little straighter on the top, which I like. So you know what? Let's validate. And let's just tap on the arm and we can use move. And I think we just want to move it out and move this shoulder part kind of in. So we'll kind of tuck that in. Uh, I guess we don't need symmetry. I guess this is fine. So we'll tuck this part in. I'm going to kind of spread apart um, the tops of the shoulders a little bit. Actually, they go into the shirt now that I'm looking at it. And I just want to make the ends a little bit more round. That looks okay. Hmm. You know what? I think for this, I think the top would be a little bit wider. A little bit wider. Yeah, I think that feels... That feels okay. Maybe they're a little shorter. Okay, I think I know what I did. I want to make the body. Oh, I want to take the sphere out. This is the arm. I want to take the sphere out and add its own mirror. So now it has its own mirror. Okay, let's do a quick save. Okay, so what I think is I made the body and the legs a little too wide. So I'm going to take the body and... What is this? Oh, the body is the legs. That's right and the shirt, and I'm just gonna squeeze them a little bit and maybe stretch them out a little bit. Yeah, that looks a bit better to me. That looks a bit better with the shape all around. So now I'm gonna take this and I just want the, the shirt to kind of come in more at the top. Yeah, I think I like that. Oops. And I want the arms to be a little bit wider at the top. So I'll just kind of maneuver these little arms a little bit more. And I want to open this up a little bit. The easier thing to do would be to use symmetry, local, and we'll just find the right symmetry, which is, looks like it's Z. This is like a class in symmetry. And now I can kind of make it make it a little bit more round and it's a little bit more uniform. Okay, I think that's good. Okay, let's take a look at the side. Side looks okay. So let's make the shirt. I think this will be fairly easy. I think we'll take the arm so we'll take the whole arm 
and we'll clone it. And then we'll change this to arm shirt. This as well. Arm shirt. So let's hide the regular arms. So now all we can see is the shirt. So now let's take trim, let's take symmetry off. So it looks like when I click on this arm, it looks like the, the main arm is this arm. So let's see if I have to trim that one. It's not that high, it's maybe about here. So if I trim that, that's so weird. Okay, so the reason why I did that is because for some somehow it's like flipping my normals, which I think just means somehow the inside is now showing on the outside. I don't, I don't know what's up with that. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the arm shirt. I'm going to do a quick save. And I'm going to voxel remesh it at like 150. Okay, so now let's try to trim again. Why is it flipping that? That's so strange to me. Let's see what happens if I take that off. Oh, now it's like all weird. Let's tap on that. Let's go to Legacy. Let's just try these out. Okay, Legacy is... Let me turn this off. I don't know why that's making it orange. It seems like Legacy is working. But don't ask me why. But that's kind of, that's what we want. So, oh well, I'll take it. So we'll turn the arm and the other... So we'll turn the arms back on. We'll take the arm and let's shrink it. I like it, but as I was saying, uh, I kind of want the arm to curve up. So I have to go back and I need to trim, but we're going to use polygon. I think, so let me take another look. Yeah, I think I want polygon. Just a little bit of a curve. You really don't have to be this crazy about it. So tap on screen, drag, tap on screen, and then we have our shape. So I'm just adding these to just kind of spread them out. So now what we want to do is add another node here so we can kind of make it, make it curve. We'll make this, I'll tap on both of those. So yeah, now I can do the same thing, but it's just a little bit more curved. It's not like a straight line. I think that's pretty much what I want. Something like that. So let's trim it. Okay. I think that should be good. Let me get rid of this thing. Oops. All right. I mean, we'll see. So now we'll uh, view these arms again. We'll take this arm and shrink it. And it's a little bit better. So let's take round edge. Let's make sure that we box remesh this pretty low. I'm gonna bring it down to like 65. And then I'm gonna do round edge so it's nice and smooth. And you know what? I'm going to take flatten. I'm going to turn symmetry on. And I'm going to flatten out these edges. Yeah. So now I'm going to smooth it. Get it nice and smooth. That's a little bit more of what I wanted. So now we can adjust uh, by the arm. I want the arm to stick out a little bit more. And you can just kind of adjust it as you wish. This looks good. So now, I think I want the head to be a little bit bigger. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to hit a save. And I'm just going to... Voxel remesh it around 150. Only because sometimes it acts funny if um, if you don't voxel remesh it. I'm going to turn symmetry off and just put this vertex back to auto. Just so we're back to where we started. 
And I think I want the head to be just a little bit bigger. I love pill-shaped heads. Can't even lie to you. I love it. Okay, I want to push the arms a little bit more. These are, again, these are these, like, details that I'm always doing. Because I can't, I can't help it. I just want that straight line here for the shirt. Looks good. The head size looks good. Okay, so now let's make this cute... Like little shape on top, I love it. Uh, and this would this looks like it's the same way that I would do like syrup. I haven't done it in a while, so bear with me. So let's take the head. Let's do a quick save. And I don't think we want symmetry. I think we just want a loose shape. It's kind of round. I love, I love this icing kind of thing. It's cool. So it looks like it's round, it comes up. You can obviously make this any way that you want to make it. I actually don't like what I did. I should have started a little further over here. I don't want it round. You know, it's kind of like a, as though it's like icing. kind of thing so something like that and you can take unmask and you can sort of clean it up if you want but I love making like drips and things like this speaking of pancakes so hopefully you guys have all seen my pancake video my unmaking pancake video that I just posted the other day. Uh, I feel like this needs to be a little bit more... Oh, that looks... Does that look a little bit too... But anyway, I am... I made another batch of pancakes. I made a double like portion size, the double uh, so I can just freeze the rest. So I can make some tomorrow and then I'll have some for, <clears throat> well, I'll have some for tomorrow and Sunday, and then I'll just freeze the rest for maybe next weekend. I've been, I've been kind of healthy, so I've been, uh, I've been eating a little bit healthier and not having too much junk during the week. Although we, we did have some chips tonight. But otherwise, the last few nights for dessert, I've just had a moderate amount of strawberries and grapes and banana. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah. Although it looks like it's a little bit too far back, doesn't it? Like if we're looking at it from, well, I guess this is the angle really. It's a little bit too far back. But that's okay. Again, like you, you have to, um, you know, sometimes you have to make changes and just take the time to, take the time to fix stuff when you find it. Is this not at a hundred? <sighs> Always take the extra time to fix stuff. And always take the time to experiment with something if you're not sure about it. It's much easier to do it at this stage than it would be, you know, like later on. And there's no need to rush, you know. You can pause, you know, do what you need to do. I try not to, even though this is a tutorial, I try not to rush. You know, the only thing I can really do is create the way that I create. See, me scaling that, that's actually what brings the, takes the size off of it. <laughs> okay. I think I need to just go a little bit more drastic. So the eyes are going to be here, so it needs to be like here. Now 
And that was my problem. Sometimes it's easier to gauge it from where you're going to put other things. So I'm going to put the eye right about there so I can probably open it up a little bit. Yeah, that kind of looks like icing. I like it. But anyway, yeah, I'm excited for pancakes tomorrow. I've been actually eating like one meal. Like I, I have a Soylent usually around 4 p.m. It's like my first meal. Then I... Uh, and I've been having a salad with like chicken or, you know, hard boiled eggs or something. I've been having that for dinner. Because I had to do something about this belly. Very critical of myself. But for good reason, because I like over the holidays. What happens is the holidays cause me to really get used to eating a bunch of junk. So, okay, I kind of like I kind of like that. Plus, I got to move on because, like, literally, uh, details like this I can get stuck on forever. So, try and not have that situation. And it's probably too late. Probably lost a few people. Maybe, well actually maybe some people just don't mind me blabbing away. Okay, so. Okay, this looks pretty good. Okay, I had to stop it in case I have to redo this part. <laughs> Alright, so now we go into the mask settings. And we want extract shell. I think that's what we want. Thickness. Let's see what this thickness is. So we should just hit extract. Okay, that's way too big. So we'll undo that. And I guess we'll bring the thickness down to 0 .2, 0 0.025. Point zero two five or so. So let's do extract. Okay, we're closer, but it's still a little bit too small. So we'll do point th point three five. Oh, we're getting closer. Maybe just a smidge thicker than that. So I'm gonna bring this to, I'm gonna make sure I move my pencil so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm in shell. And this is so you can see my settings, just in case it's not working or something is different. Here's all my, my settings. Which I think are just default. So I, I think I want to move it up to 0.45. Extract. There we go. That looks pretty good. So usually what I like to do first is tap on the head where the mask was. Because it's still there, you can see it. You always want to go back and make sure that you clear it. Otherwise, you'll forget. I usually forget. So now we have this piece. So let's name that head icing. And let's save. So I might have to voxel remesh it. Usually when you try to smooth it, it might be a little too soft. Actually, it's not too bad. Actually is a lot better than it used to be like really terrible so it's actually smoothing out quite nicely but do I want it flatter I don't mind that but let's see what happens if I make it a smidge smaller so it really fits the head you really want that contact with the head so that actually looks pretty good. It's still a bit, I kind of want it a little bit thicker. So I think I might just undo 
and just make it a little thicker. I told you, I, I, I make whatever changes I need to make. I'm gonna bring it to 55. And you know what? I like this uh, flat. So I might have to smooth it and then use flatten, but we'll see. And I'm gonna leave this there for now in case I wanna redo it again. I don't have to press undo. I can just go back to the head and go to the mask and do it. So let's see what happens if I voxel remesh this at around 150. So that should make it a little stronger. I'm gonna use round edge. Let's see how that does. Make sure I'm on the right shape. It's not bad. Still want to smooth. It looks a little bit bumpy, so I'm just going to smooth that out again. And you can see as I smooth, you can see that it's slowly kind of shrinking a little bit. So let's just clear this mask. Let's go to the front. I know I, I'm moving it around a lot. I do that. I tend to do that. <laughs> so we'll go to the head icing and we'll just shrink it a little bit because we really want that contact to make it look like it's actually, you know, on his head. That looks good. And I think I just want to use flatten. I think I want to use flatten and just flatten out this bottom plane. I just like the way that looks. It just feels, I don't know, I just like the way it looks. I'm not pressing too hard on the flatten. I'm just want, I just want to make that nice ridge. Uh, I don't like this. I want this to be completely round. So I think I'm going to use move, not that big. And uh, just try to make this a little bit more round. You can also, it might come up from the head, so you can kind of push it back. And I'll continue to flatten all this. Okay, you gotta flatten this side as well. And again, you know, this things like this, like flattening, like you don't have to follow everything that I'm doing exactly if you don't think it's necessary or you don't like it. Uh, it's always encouraged to kind of do things your own way if you want. It's normal and natural. We might not like things the same way. I'm gonna smooth it a little bit again. I know that seems weird, but I want it just flat enough that it's a little bit flatter but i didn't want um i didn't want it like just straight flat so sometimes i do a, like series of you know flattening or any other tool and then i'll smooth it and i might do the tool again and then smooth it until you get exactly what you want so this looks pretty good it still could be a little bit thicker but ultimately i think it looks pretty good okay i did Go back and thicken it up a little bit, but um, I didn't need to re-record it. <laughs> all right, so let's see. Oh, there's all these great shapes in the for the mouth. I might decide to make that teeth, and I think that we'll do. Do I want to do the eyes for the first or the mouth first? Well, let's do the eyes so that the eyes look a little bit separate. So let me make sure that we save where we are and let's add, it looks like a cylinder to me. Kind of looks like a sphere, but it kind of looks like a cylinder. I think we're going to work with the cylinder. So we'll bring it up. We'll bring it out. We'll do snap. Like so. We'll turn snap off. We don't need it. So now I'm just going to shrink it. And I think I want to stretch it. Actually, let's do what we did before. 
you know what? We might not have to. Let's take, let's validate it. And let's take symmetry. And we want the front and the back again. So I think that's usually Z. Is it C? Let's make sure that we're on local. Okay, Y. I always forget when you flip something, I always forget. I guess I could probably just look at the gizmo. That will probably tell me which one I need. But sometimes I'm not that intelligent. I'm gonna shrink it just like I was saying before while we kind of stretch out this shape. I'm gonna take move, make sure symmetry is on. So we have the green symmetry. So the front and back will match. And I just wanna make these eye shapes. So we might be able to just pull and kind of push and then kind of open up one side a little bit wider. Pull a little bit again, maybe open this up. I should probably do this up higher so you can kind of see what I'm doing. But essentially I just use move to kind of mold it in the right shape, which I think is something like this. And I just make move a little bit smaller when I want to try to like round out the edge. But honestly, I think this is pretty much it. Maybe I'll try to make this a little bit smaller. Oh, I want this back side to be a little bit more round. That was weird to say. <laughs> okay, I think that's pretty good. say that right I always pretend like I'm good and then next thing you know okay so I think I like that I sort of want it bent a little bit um, but we're gonna have to kind of um, yeah we'll do it when we put it down to the face so let's take this and we'll bring it down over, we'll shrink it. And we've got to find a home for it. So it's still a little bit big, I think. And I kind of want to, I'm going to use pivot and I'm going to move this pivot so that this blue arrow is, or any of the arrows is pointing this way. That way I can stretch it that way. So that looks a little bit more accurate. But really, it's just matching the, the reference. Okay, so now let's bring this to the face. Let's figure out where these are going to go. I probably could have just did this with a sphere, I think. That might have been easier. Okay, so I'm going to sort of move it just so it's right on the surface of the face. And we'll, I think this is good for now. I'm gonna use a line, it's a little bit easier to kind of just move stuff around. Maybe a little smidge smaller. So I'm thinking around here, we might as well go ahead and I'm gonna name this I, and then I'm gonna add a mirror, just so we can oh, see what happened was, what had happened was I symmetry uh, so firstly, we just want X and we just want world. So now when we add the mirror, it's going to use the world and not the, uh, the local. Okay, so first thing I can see is they're a little too close. And maybe a little bit more angled looks a little bit better, maybe a smidge smaller. Because the comparison to the head, the eyes are pretty small. So, okay. I think I like that. So let's figure out the mouth. I want to use mask. So we'll tap on the head, turn symmetry on. Let's make sure we're using, actually it doesn't matter using local or world because we haven't moved so left and the right would be the same but let's take it off z and use x so now we just need to make this mouth shape 
we want to make sure to leave a little bit of space for this little bow tie here. So let's just draw this mouth shape. It's kind of like kind of like that. Unmask. It's actually pretty good. Maybe a little bit wider on top. There we go again. Me with the masks. I think that looks pretty good. Um, okay, now, so now I want to look at it and really figure out if it's the right size. I think it is. Or do I want to make it a little bit smaller? Hmm. I think it's actually pretty good. I, I don't know. I think it's, I think I might need to make it a little smaller. This is almost, almost like listening to my conscience, my stream of consciousness, whether I'm recording or not recording. That's what it's like all the time <laughs> in my head. Should I do this? Should I do that? Uh, and I kind of apologize for those people. Some people, um, I always get comments saying that like I, you know, I changed my mind or this and that. But it's like, you know, you kind of have to create the art the way that, the way that you create your art, you know, the way that it's comfortable. You kind of got to do it that way. So make sure we bring these into the head. So I'm just going to focus on the one for now. Actually, yeah, I'm just focus on the one for now. So we just need to angle it so it's like right on the surface. And it's flat, so I'm going to use move. And so I'm just going to kind of put a little bend in it. So we'll put a little bend in it. See if we can take it off of a line. That might be a little bit easier. And actually, let's go pivot, center, pivot, because we did move it around a lot. So now we should be able to move it right back into the head. I think that works. So again, now we look at the positioning. Right now, the mouth is a little too high, it looks like. Um, or it could just be that this is too low. Oh, and we still need to do those things too. So you know what? Let's move the eye up a bit. And maybe a little farther out. Oh, I think that's cute. That's a cute distance. Maybe this is just a little low. So I'll just try to use move and gently kind of move it up a little bit. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's why the move tool is really, really great because you can just make changes like that and sort of like the liquify tool in Procreate. I use that a lot. Okay, so this feels pretty good for me. The only thing is I'm going to shave off a little bit more on the top of the mouth. So the top of the mouth is a little lower. It's nice and round. Okay. I think that works. Yeah, I think that works. Probably move the eyes a little closer. I gotta make sure that they're nice and level. Okay, so now that we have that, um, do a quick save and now let's uh, go to the mask and invert and now we can take the mouth and I think I just want to invert this a little bit I'm gonna change the pivot so that I can just move it directly straight back so the arrow is like this so then I can move it directly straight back I don't even really think it needs that much 
I think that's probably good. And then uh, we'll go to the mask and then just clear it. So I'll do a quick save and then let's voxel remesh. Let's try to lock this in. So let's voxel remesh maybe around 250. Okay, and now I'm just gonna smooth this out. Okay. Okay, and we'll be able to paint that. So next I think we'll just use a sphere. Move it up, move it out so you can see, shrink it, flatten it, we'll move it into place. So it'll be something like this. Because I don't know if I want, I'm going to stretch it out this way. I'm not sure if I wanted to cover the whole mouth. Let's validate it. I think it might look cute if it's just like, if it kind of resembles like teeth. I think that might look cute. Puff it out a little bit. And I'm, I, I kind of want everything to sort of look like smaller like icing like it could have been made with like icing so I'm trying to puff puff it all out so it actually lays on top of I think that looks pretty good smooth it out a bit and maybe we can move it down I don't know I kind of like it up a little bit higher I don't know if I want it that to be higher. We could do that, or we could just make the whole thing white. Let's see what it looks like if we make the whole thing white, like the reference. Yeah, I mean it doesn't look doesn't look terrible. You know, I mean it is like a it's not like a real <laughs> doesn't really have anatomy or anything, so I think the eyes need to be a little bit more Yeah. I'm like so particular with like small details. Kind of like make myself laugh sometimes. I want to smooth out this head. I don't like that I could see something there. Okay, so there's these little lines. So I don't know if we actually want to make those. They're not really that needed in the story. But for some reason, I kind of like them. So if I'm going to make those lines, I'm going to use select mask, rectangle. I have it exactly to the right. And I would do this like that. And then this, and I would make it really small. And then I would take gizmo and I would just shrink it a little bit. Let's see how that looks. Terrible. Let's see what happens if you smooth it. Oh, it gets so thick. Why? Okay, so I don't really like that. But maybe we just won't keep it. Maybe we'll just not include it. Or at the end, we can just add it with the uh, crease. Looks like there might be two of them there and there. So we'll see. 
So let's do these little swirly things. And these things look pretty easy. We can just use, let's do a quick save. So I think we can just use Taurus, Taurus eye. So we'll move it up. And uh, we don't really need snap. So we'll just shrink it and we'll move it over to the face. And then of course we just have to sort of angle it to the face. It actually fits quite nicely. do this again for the video so it'll look perfect I do think about that now when I'm sculpting I'm like I might have to do something again because uh, there's certain things that I run into when I edit all of these that can be super annoying I want to see if I can flatten make that edge a bit more flat uh, it looks okay But do I, do I even want to bother with that? Um, and what I'm the, what I'm contemplating now is just the fact that so I'm gonna I'm gonna validate this. I don't think I need it any thicker than that. Do I want it a little thicker? No. I, maybe a smidge. Wait, where's the thick? Oh, there it is. Okay, a smidge thicker. So I'll validate it. And so the only thing I was thinking is, obviously with the head again, the cheek, if I wanna bend, you know, kind of bend this out a little bit. If I solo it, I just kinda wanna push it a little bit on the, so it's a little more form face fitting. At least that's the idea. Let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, so cheek candy A. We'll clone it. And name this one B. Do a quick save. We should be able to just shrink this one. Oh, the only problem is it gets thinner when I want it to get not be thin. That's okay. We'll just add a torus. We'll just add a new torus. This can be. Where are you at? Oh, not that. You know what? I'm going to hit lock because I keep touching other parts of the mesh, which is I hate it. I want to do pivot, center, pivot. Oi. How am I still on the head? Lock. Cheek candy B. Lock. Thank you. Make sure I didn't move anything. I used to, back in the day, I haven't done it in a while, but I used to like ruin sculpts because I'd accidentally touch something and then I wouldn't notice it until like an hour later. Oh, that'd be the worst. Truly the worst. Let's thicken this guy up. OK, 
Okay, and now we can just position it correctly. And go into the fit in face. Do that again for the video. You guys know I'm serious about my videos. Uh, and we can make this one a little bit thicker actually. See if we can flatten it. Oh, I do wish this one, I wish the outer one was thicker. Am I, am I tripping? Maybe I can get it smaller. Yeah, that, I think that works. Okay, cool. So let's take this one and validate it. Put it up here. What is this sphere? Oh, that's the mouth white. Okay. That's good. I feel like the, I feel the need to flatten this a little bit. Is this flattening? Oh, am I still locked? Feel the need to flatten these a little bit. Again, there's like those little details that I just can't help but to do. Looks good. I think the whole thing can be a bit bigger. Make sure it looks good on all angles. The only thing that bugs me is that it's not really... Maybe I just need to bend it down. I do wish that it was a little bit more angled, you know? Hmm. Oh, I guess I can just bend it in like that. I guess that kind of works. I really, I, it really needs to look like it's on the surface. So there's like a very, see that? See how like that dark thing kind of goes away? Like it just doesn't look right if it doesn't, if it doesn't actually feel like it's resting on the surface. Like that's a very dark shadow there. I think I just like the shadow to be not as dark because if it's a dark shadow, then it doesn't look like it's actually resting on it. Okay, I think that looks better. Feels better. Definitely feels better. This can be rounded a little bit more. Okay, I'll just smooth it a little bit now. Okay. Make this a smidge smaller. I can't even see the orange. Oh, there it is. Just a smidge. Okay. Good, good, good. Looks good. One thing also I'm seeing is that there's a little depression for the eyes, which I actually love. I think that looks really cool. I'm gonna just use clay, I think, and sub, so we can get rid of some of this clay here around the eye. I'm gonna get rid of a little bit more than I need to. I can smooth it out and it should just look like a nice soft depression where the eyes are.
kind of subtle, but I like it. I love subtle details like that. Okay, so for these eyes, they actually need to be a little bit softer. Uh, so I'm going to do a quick save, and then I think I'm going to... Um, let's see, what do I want to do? I'm afraid they'll be too soft if I smooth them now. Yeah, that's too soft. Oh, look good. Let's do round edge a couple times. Let's make them nice and soft. I think that's good. So let's take these cheeks. What size are they? Are they about the same size? So we can join them. And then we can, let's check out the symmetry. We can add a mirror. So now we have the other side covered. Okay, it looks good. just feel like this needs to be a little bit smaller all of a sudden. I'm, I'm like that. And let's make these little, these little candies on top. I think we'll just use spheres. Just keep it simple. So we're gonna just use spheres. I think that's the easiest thing, and then we can kind of shape them or change them. Let's take a look at the front, actually, since that's the main thing that we're gonna be probably looking at. So maybe something like that. We'll move it over a little bit. Maybe shrink it a smidge. Okay, we can just clone it. And maybe we'll do let's see. Well, let's actually position it on the level and then we can change the shape. But it'll be easier once we kind of get it a little bit level. I think that looks good. And let's validate it. Let's use move. And let's just make it a little bit of a different shape. Make move pretty small. Try to get the yeah, try to get that um front part. So I think that's good. Now, like I was saying before, maybe we'll just use move. Let's see if we can put a little bend in it. And then move it back right on the surface, something like that. Okay, there we go. Now I'm just gonna move the back down a little bit and the front down a little bit. Really dark shadows there. I want the shadows to be kind of equal. Okay, so invalidate this as well. Let's take this one, candy, hey, candy, B. We'll clone this one. tell I've been traumatized with crashes but I don't like autosave I don't trust it either it's probably fine but I've gotten like burned a few times where like autosave has been on and it crashes and then it's literally back to like the beginning Make this a little bit different, maybe. Smidge different. Let's move it to the front. 
I'm gonna use this little orange thing, cheat. Make it a little bit smaller. I think that's a good size. Doesn't have to match, obviously, exactly like the reference. Okay, so now that I'm looking at it, I'm seeing some things I wanna change. I think what I was seeing just now is like, it didn't look random enough. So I think it's what it was. Okay, I like that. And I might even put a hole in it. Oh, that's weird. Let me go back to Boolean, see if that works. Okay, we'll do that and we'll smooth it. That hole's a little too big, I need to trim it. I need to make a smaller hole. So now I need to voxel remesh it at like 150 and then smooth it. So we mesh it lower. Do I want that? Mm. I don't know. I don't know, folks. I think I definitely want it flattened a little bit. And maybe we'll just do the color. I think we can just work a color in there. And I think that will satisfy me. I want to move this down towards the front a little bit more. These little these little adjustments are a bit annoying because you have to change everything, but again, that's just it's kind of just how it is. And let's put something over here. Let's just use an, another sphere. can't be just like nothing on the back, you know? If you're gonna do it, you gotta do it right. I don't think I need to spend as much time, but you want a little something there. So a little bit, give it a little Push underneath. Move it down a little bit. I kind of want to put a little sphere down here, almost like it dripped all the way down. But I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I am. I'm going to do it. Why not? The problem is, if I think about it, then it's like, if I don't do it. But also, like, I don't know. You guys are just chilling. And to show you my ideas. That's pretty much why I like calling this um, 3D Sculpt and Chill. Because I really do just like showing you guys my ideas. I mean, I, don't, I think that's all I really have to give, I guess. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, so we'll do it like that, a little round, kind of like this. Let's validate it. Maybe we can just use, uh, do I want move or drag though? Maybe drag. Drag is a little bit more one spot, whereas move is a little bit more smooth overall. 
maybe something like that is a nice, oh yeah, I mean, look at that. It's on the back, right? I think that's fine. I wanna print him out. Let's see if I want the legs to be a little bit wider at the bottom. Okay, it looks so cool, I like it. You know what, I think I want maybe like this is a, it's almost like it's a little hat or something. So maybe, um, what's the best, oh, you know what, I have an easy way to do it. Okay, so quick save, let's use, oh, these are the cheeks, um, we'll leave them. Mouth white, candy A, candy B, sphere. What is that? Is that the other piece of candy? Let's do some quick housekeeping. Candy C. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, that's the one in the back of the head. I forgot. Um, uh, icing, solo. We'll move this where the ice, where the head icing is. Did we have head icing somewhere? Oh, here it is. Head icing. Okay, candy C. A, B, C, D. That didn't make it uppercase, but that's okay. All right, looking good. These are looking good. Cheek rings. Boom, I'll save since I did the housekeeping. All right, so next... Oh, that's what I was going to do. What am I on? What needs to be validated? Oh, no, it's okay. I don't want to validate that yet. Let's just add a cylinder. Um, gizmo. We'll move it up. And let's see. Snap. 90 degrees. Boom. Take it off snap. We'll shrink it. And that's going to be perfect. down, maybe stretch it out a bit, okay, so something like that, I think, is what we want, hmm, let's do post subdivision, and validate it so it has a little bit of size, and we can And now let's use symmetry, but let's use that one. Well, actually, we can use X as well, because if we want it on one side, we want it on the other side, I think. So hopefully I didn't already move it. So let's just stretch this out a little bit. A little bit more in the middle, as I was saying. The middle sort of kind of gets lost sometimes. Okay, smooth, make it nice and flat. Actually, let's see what round edge does to it. Makes it nice and uniform. I'm gonna smooth a little bit more up here so it's a little bit lower. Any place there where it's kind of high. Okay, I think that works. So now I'm gonna just squeeze it together, smidge. I think that looks good. I just want to make sure that it's actually off of the... I don't want to like going into the face. Since it's not supposed to be. So I'm going to turn... Actually, you can leave symmetry on. I think I just want to move it back as well. Let's see on this side. If we can move it back a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's good. 
And that can actually be the same color as the little bow tie. So let's do the little bow tie. Okay, so for the bow tie, I want to use two cylinders, a cylinder in the middle, and then two, um, what are they called? Not rope, not wire, tube. <laughs> All right, so let's just have head so I can add cylinder. Okay, we'll move it up, forward, snap. Snap it this way. Um, turn it off. Shrink. Actually, is this, is this the right way? It's not the right way. That's the right way. So we'll shrink it. We'll move it back. We'll move it over, maybe shrink it a little bit more. Stretch it that way a bit. Maybe angle it a little smidge. I think that seems good. I'm trying to look at this. The, um, so if this is like this, this little part comes off and then there's a little bit of space in the shirt. So the size is actually pretty good. I'll make it a little bit bigger. So I think that's pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and mirror it. And uh, validate. So let's see how much we can smooth it. Nice. Let's use crease. And in the middle, I'm just going to make a crease. Oh, let's get rid of this color. I'm just going to make a crease. And make like a round bit up here. And then smooth. And then I'm going to take drag. And uh, I just want to puff it up a little bit. Something like that, I think. Smooth it out a little bit, maybe get a little flatten going on these. You can take crease again if you want and something like that. So now we'll just take another cylinder. We'll just call it a bow. I think that's what I was thinking before. Uh, just put two here. We'll add another cylinder. Actually, we don't want it in this mirror. We just want it solo. So we'll take our gizmo, move it. Uh, and now we want to snap this way for sure. Shrink. Like that. go right here okay there's not that much space in the middle so we'll make it like this and we'll move those a little bit closer I think that's the smarter thing to do so we'll move this down let's bring it out a little bit more okay we can validate it and we can probably just smooth it make it nice and round and then we'll take these two and we'll move them in. And I'm going to take move and I'm just going to kind of pull them back a little bit. And we can always kind of move them a little deeper into the body. And then we can take this cylinder and then we can just kind of adjust it accordingly. drag and just adjust it as we need. And actually when I'm doing that, I feel much better using symmetry. Good. 
this is supposed to be going in there. Oops, and I want to drag this down a little better. So it looks like it's going in there, tucked in there. smooth just to kind of make it nice okay that looks good this is still a bit tall I'll make that a little smaller and now these little pieces where I think we can just use um, I guess we can just use tube smaller Maybe flat I think something like that is actually good let's hit tube so we can get the tube options again it's a little bit bigger on the bottom maybe might be we'll hit radius we can make it a little bit bigger on the bottom if we want oh let's take it off snap because I notice it's not going inside the mesh, which is where I, where I want it to go. Right there. A little bit thicker, I think. Okay, so we'll validate that. Oop, let's mirror it first. So we'll validate that, and then we will save, and then voxel remesh together. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. And then just smooth. Go a little bit lower with it. Smooth them out so they're nice and round. Even if you have to go really low, it's okay. Okay, and then you can bring it up a little bit higher if you want so they get nice and smooth. And actually, why do they not look like they're... Oh. So let's voxel remesh these together. It's actually what I meant to do. Let's do about 150, and then just smooth the whole thing out. really want these to be round. Sometimes you just have to. But I didn't have symmetry on. Why is this not flattening? What's happening? Oh, that's smooth. I thought it was on. I thought it was on flatten. I just want to make sure those edges are nice and round. All right, good. Smooth the middle a little bit. Pivot, center, pivot. And maybe we'll just shrink it a little bit. Okay. All right. Okay, so we're in really good spot. I think everything is looking nice. I'm gonna take everything, I just wanna move mine up a little bit. I feel like he's a little, a tiny bit too short, except for the floor. Like literally, like the little, like the millimeters. I get crazy over millimeters. So I'll move the floor down, we'll do a quick save. And let's add plane. Gizmo, you can't see it right now, but we're gonna. Wait, where's the plane at? Oh, I couldn't see it because I was like that. That's right. Whoa, that's big. 
Okay, so we have our plane here. And I think that's all we need. Let's widen it, maybe. We can hide that. Actually, let's just leave it. And let's change it to perspective. I like to put mine all the way down to 10. That way we can always see the floor. Stretch the, fl the floor out. So let's get a nice... Uh... So we kind of want it like this. Tilt it a little bit. So we kind of want it like that. So once you get that, uh, you can do a quick save and then you can go to the little camera and hit add view. We'll just name this one. Okay, so let's change the background color. To a nice pink. Okay. Let's try to match that pink, if you want. Can I move this? Oh, I can't. I thought I could move it. Okay, so let's move this little guy. Did I still... Oh, I can kind of see it. That's good enough. Um... Background, background, background. I'm, forget, I'm like forgetting what I'm trying to do here. So it looks like it's more of that color, maybe a little bit like that. Of course, this doesn't have to be perfect. And this is sort of the same color. I can tag this, but it's usually off. Oh, let's switch to from matte cap to lit PBR. Uh, here's my environment um, that you can get on my Gumroad on my website, but you can use any of the other environments. The colors will vary a little bit with the other, uh, with like these environments. But I always use mine. So let's color all of these. Let's color all of these just, um, just do like sort of a flower pot color, the terracotta color. Or like a gray. We just want to do something that's like not something that's um what was the term? Neutral. So we'll do a color like that. This we can probably make a similar pinkish color. Let's turn the environment off. Let's go to our one. Let's move this. We have to move it again because I uh, I saved the background when that was our still over there. So what we can do is update it. So now if we move it, now it'll be how it was. Okay, so let's add our first light. So we'll add this light. Uh, that looks good. Oh, this looks like it's a little bit too intense. We'll bring this up to like three. I usually don't go that high. You can turn on post-process. If you have a less of a strong iPad, just make sure that this is like down some. Like it might get, be a little bit less nice, but it'll be less taxing. You can probably take this down too. And maybe turn these off too if you need to. So I'm using Drug Free Dave. So here are my settings if you want to take a look at those. Uh, I might adjust them though, actually, now that I'm thinking about it. I want everything to be kind of nice and soft with him. I usually bring the curvature up. Okay. I'm going to turn off depth of field for now. Do I want green? Uh, I do like a little bit of green, but maybe I'll turn it on later. Okay, so we have our one light. It looks nice. shadow though. I don't think I can make how soft can I make this? I can't really make it soft. I'm 
but I think I like that position. So let's duplicate it and let's move, let's, let's, um, what happens if we put one straight down or in the front? I think we need to use a spotlight. It would be nice to use point, but point light is really annoying because it doesn't respect the shadows. I don't think it does. No, it doesn't. I would love to be able to use the point light. So let's take this light and maybe make it... Oops, let's go to our view again. Got lost. Okay, so find him with the beam. I think we just want it to be kind of like this. And I'm not going to look at this anymore. I still have to, I still have to color it, but I'm not really going to pay attention to that lighting because we might not be able to do that exact lighting in Nomad. So we'll just do our own lighting. I think that's pretty good. I kind of want it bigger though. Let's save this. It's two. And you know what? Let's add another sunlight. And I want to try to get a nice rim light. So we'll turn it until it starts getting light on that side. Ooh, that looks nice. We don't want that much on the ground, though. Turn this up a bit. Okay, that's nice. We also have to remember that the environment is actually going to bring it up a lot too. So let's bring the environment down. Bring it to like one. Okay. Try to match that. when I do that. It's a little bit a little bit more on the side, I think. Something like that. I meant to add a view. Three. Okay, so we have those lights. Now that I moved them a little bit, I'm just gonna kind of adjust. Kind of adjust that rim light a bit. And what also might be nice is if we, oh, you know what? I want to add, so if you go to the lights, make sure that light icons are on, even though it's hard, they're hard to see. If we go here, oh, let me re readjust this. Hopefully, hopefully it's still clear. Okay, so this spotlight, I think I want, I think I want it more in front of him. I think I want it a little more just in front. I usually do like moody lights, but it doesn't work with something like happy and Christmassy. So I think something like this is good. Now I think I want a light maybe on the background. So if I take, if I add a light and change it to spot, Actually, maybe I can use point light for this. God, it's so... Why would it be that bright? I don't understand why it would be that bright. If I can move it up... We'll go to our view. If I can make it a bit brighter, it kind of gives that nice bright. Although it's not stretched out, it is kind of nice that it has that it's light back there. Excuse me. I wish I could make it go wider without. You see, it's a little too harsh right there, though. Maybe I can change the color a little bit to make it a little less crazy. Okay, that's kind of nice. Okay, so let's take 
let's color him. So let's go to orange and see if we can get that nice gingerbread color. I think it's something like that, I think. The roughness about there. Oh no, that's not that's not even right. I need to move this uh I need to move this to the side. Okay. So what did I do? I think it is a little bit more. You can probably just color pick, but I don't know, for some reason I don't I don't like doing that. I think that's a good color. It's a bit close to what where it was, but Paint the hands, paint the body. Uh, the shirt is just kind of like white. Maybe we'll make it a little more of a cream white, just a smidge. This could be the same. This can be a nice pink. Okay, pink, this can be the same. Oh, you know what? Let's validate this bow tie. And I was toying with making this the same color, which is kind of cute, I think. This has a little bit of metallic to it. Actually, okay, I need to take all these parts and join them together. It seems like there's a little metalness, which is a little, I would never have thought of that, but it seems like there's a little metalness to it. So that's what I'm gonna do. These are, I'm going to take the color of the skin and just darken it. These are nice, actually these are kind of chocolate. These are chocolatey. So we'll go there. Maybe we want a little bit of gloss on them. We'll paint those. This can be the same color as the shirt. We'll get this color, but a little different. Maybe we'll make it a little bit more. Um, just a little bit different of a color. So we'll do that. We'll make this one like a light pink. Do I want these to be glossy? I feel like I want them glossy, like candy or something. This can be like, I think I want this to be that pale green. And then you can do some fun stuff like take the paint and this looks like it's actually painted like half and half. This looks like it has a circle. I'm gonna have to fix that up later, but that's okay. You get the idea. As long as they look kind of like candy-ish. So let's take this and 
Ooh, maybe this color. Let's see, I don't know if this color is red enough. Oh my god, my... I thought, I thought there was a bug falling on me, and it was my freaking thing from my sweatshirt. Scared the bejesus out of me. Oof. I just saw, I saw a TikTok with a, this woman had like a bug on her, so I think I'm like a little, still kind of tripping over that. All right, so let's make this a little, what color do we want? I think we want it like, eh, yeah, maybe there. We do want some roughness. We want kind of the same as the body. Maybe even more rough. All right, let's see how clear this paint goes on. Why does it look so, oh, I think I know why. Actually, we can turn this off. So we wanna just paint the inside of the mouth. Okay, that looks good. I'm just gonna hit solo, make my life easier. Oh, why does this not look? Oh, that's interesting. I'm kind of, I'm a little bit surprised that it's not even, but I guess it's just not even. See if this makes any difference. No, I think it's the head. Oh well, that's fine. So this is a little off, so we'll just have to fix it manually. Oh, and I don't think I can erase because I think I didn't do it on another layer. which I should have. But this is the easy stuff. So I'm gonna tag this color again and just paint all inside here. It's a little too tilted. Update that. Okay, we'll go back to post-process. Turn the quality up. So the only thing that I would do now is, oh, you know what? I forgot something else I forgot. On the skin, I forgot the inside of these. So it's always easy to turn that off to paint. This plane is really getting on my last nerve. Painting inside of these red. I think I might do these as spheres, just FYI. <laughs> um, okay, cool. So let's go to our view. Post process. It's very bright. Okay, it is bright, so you might have to go through your lights and just see which ones what's making it so bright. Might just be that. It's only at one percent though. Turn it down a smidge. But yeah, I think I like it. I think it came out pretty good. And just a regular pink background, but I'm pretty happy with it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over into Blender. Oh, there is one more thing that I almost forgot. It is my favorite subsurface. It's really going to make... I think it really makes everything look nice. Let's actually join the head. Um, 
Actually, we don't have to join them. We can just tag the, the arm, the body, and the head and make them all the same subsurface. We want to make sure that we turn it down so it's not so see-through. Maybe 0.8 or so. And we want to do those. I think we'll just leave those. The shirt and the shirt arms. I'm going to validate these. And I'm going to join them with the shirt. And then sub subsurface those. Bring this down to like one. Same thing with the bow tie. Just make sure you bring it down. And the eyes look like they might benefit from it as well. Okay. And maybe the candies, you can experiment with those if you want. But what I like is it kind of gets rid of that dark shadow that I absolutely hate. So usually I subsurface everything just because I hate that really dark shadow that makes, to me, it makes things look artificial. So I really don't like it. Okay, what about these? I think those might be fine. Man, I think that's good. I like it, I'm happy with it. Well, I think that's it. It's really nice. I'm gonna bring this over into Blender and uh, try to get it to look a little bit more like this. We use cycles. Uh, so if you have a computer that's capable uh, I think it is cool to try and use Blender uh, just to get some cool renders. But as you can see, you can make really great stuff in Nomad. Uh, I love sculpting here and I hope you enjoyed um, just hanging out and sculpting. If you do this on social media or if you make this and you want to post it, make sure you tag me. I love to see what you guys do. I'll post it on my stories. Um, and I love to see this. I love to see like other stuff. Um, I'm excited to see what you guys do. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. I don't know when this is going to go up because I think I have to wait till Christmas. But I have a few other videos that you've already seen. Well, I don't know why, I don't know why I'm saying that because the time is already coming and gone. It's already close to Christmas. Merry Christmas. Peace. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And if you want to go more in depth, then definitely check out my Skillshare classes where I am a top teacher. I have about 50 classes, both Procreate and Nomad Sculpt. I also have a few classes on Udemy. So if you want to learn more or you just like my style, you like the way I teach, you want to support me, those are some other places that you can do it. Thanks again. Keep drawing, keep sculpting. I'll see you all in the next video.